time we were on a boat and some spooky things were going to happen. Like, we're probably all going to die and get murdered because I couldn't make good decisions, so... Let's see what happens. It's like Captain Phillips all over again. <gasps> Is that a fish cutting knife? <clears throat> you guys got cut too? Yeah. Oh, great, is this... You know what, let's take a guess. He knows something we don't know about that shipwreck, right? Hmm. That race just a dick. Who knows? Um... <sighs> well, she's the real expert in the situation. Let's get her. Also, like... from him. Okay, it didn't matter. Well, they're in a relationship too, so maybe that helped. Um, how about we shut the fuck up for a little bit? Okay, come on. Ah, yeah, didn't get the mustache. See, look, if, if we get all of us Ungagged first, we can make them waste more time okay. trying to gag us again. I think so. See, look, now he has to waste time putting tape back on. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Quick, use your survival training. Almost well, that was the last time we saw her. Anyone else got an idea? All right, all right, smart. Okay. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I reckon. Patrick Stewart, that's that who he looks news? like I to me. You were going to ask the good news first. You're Vaguely. such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. What are they going to do to us? Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. At least we're gagged. I mean, not ungagged. Well, guys, <laughs> why are we going to alert die. them to what our now? attention? <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, why are we going to alert them? My bad, I'm what I'm saying. It's not good. Come on. God, you act like you were never tied up before. Oh, for <laughs> you suck at your job. Well. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're no one alone knows you're out now. here. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. What you gonna do to me, huh? <laughs> yep, they always go for the balls. <laughs> I swear, dude gets a frickin... He loses his eye and th thinks he owns the world. Up his. Ooh, I was in a shark accident. Um... Um... Eh, let's antagonize him. Oh yeah. 
You know how to treat a lady, right? to actually mm, overpower them. See, look, sometimes it pays to shut up. Be on your best behavior, little man. Uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to listen to him. He has a bandana. He, he'll be our, our friend later. I remember him as bandana guy. <laughs> he actually seems like he might be a cooperative one in a tight situation. Like he kind of doesn't want to do it. Like, like the Cyclops guy over there, like, is the douchebag leader. Oh Jesus, Conrad. Damn it, you, you, it, you pulled your trump card too soon. Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss That's a problem. Buddy, buddy with him. You and I both have balls. That makes us the target. Did you see my brother? Um. Eh. No. Uh, but by but that I'm I meant, sure we, you know, these guys mail just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Maybe they just don't like dudes. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Dude, why are you? They're coming. <clears throat> We're not a fan of blondes. Fuck. Fuckers. So they took her for some reason, and then, hey, like, hey, eh, not are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have? Oh, they're gonna realize <laughs> we're not worth anything. It's like, oh. all right, we'll kidnap someone else. We're gonna be stuck with those guys for the rest of the story, aren't we? Oh, we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. One, two, three, four, five, Anybody have bets on a six, ghost ship showing seven, up from the beginning of the game? Eight. I do. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. Hmm. Worrying we everybody just will not help. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Slippery. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Think of a different insult. 
Because I what got if this. I do that and leave everybody in. behind, then they shoot me because I'm out in the open? This way I got a hustle. Oh, come on. <sighs> Careful! Don't make this worse. We, 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 we have the upper boy. hand. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, also. Just don't do what I do. I'm making every poor decision possible. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Is Over the there. gun even loaded? You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! You're a big man, because you got a knife. Olsen! Come here! I guess so clearly they know. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Well, we didn't know about gold, but now we do. You know what, like it or not, we still got the boat. This seems like the same outcome. So this way I have a knife. All right. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Not to you. Keep the volume down. All right. Thank I'm just you. gonna say it. That's, that's negotiable. Has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Uh... I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us that up. Yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You rock my boat, you and then you ask me to sit still. Come with me. You know what? Maybe they'll all turn out to be good guys by the end. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. Of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Uh, I mean, hey, even if we uh, tell them just something, requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. 
gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. I became more selfish. What? Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. What was it supposed to do? Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. No? How'd I know? Goshen. What did I say? I called it. And I called it hard. Boom. It's been here a while. Alright, y'all. Resident Evil Revelation. Brad turned into a ghost. I mean, a, a skeleton. After speed weapon. How did that guy never fall off that boat? Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> I'm sorry. appear to have saved somebody a bold move that paid off this time okay so we should this be make the rest again. of your group more vulnerable I dare say we'll find out hmm kind-hearted creature I am I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted oh hmm <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Huh. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. So, what they're looking for isn't actually gold? They just think it is? Or something like that. Or maybe it's something that I could pick up along the La way, like I could be tricked. 
Quick refreshing pause, sorry. <laughs> 